Have you ever wondered what goes into making a piano? It's an incredible process that blends old-world craftsmanship with modern technology. In this video, we're taking you behind the scenes of piano manufacturing to show you how these amazing instruments are born. You'll see the journey from raw materials to musical masterpiece, and we'll reveal steps in the process that most people never get to witness. We'll show you how a simple piece of wood becomes an instrument capable of producing those rich, resonant sounds we all love. Get ready to uncover the secrets of piano making. From choosing the perfect word to the final tuning, you'll see how each step adds to the piano's iconic sound. Let's explore the fascinating world of piano manufacturing and discover the magic that happens before anyone plays a single note. Piano makers are always looking for the perfect materials to create an instrument that'll sound amazing for generations. When they choose wood for a piano, they're really picky about the grain patterns and how dense it is. These things make a big difference in how the piano sounds and how long it lasts. For example, they might pick a piece of spruce with tight, even grain lines for the soundboard. This pattern helps the sound travel better and makes the piano resonate more. Different parts of the piano are made from different types of wood, each adding its own special qualities to the overall sound and structure. Spruce is the go-to choice for the soundboard, which is super important because it amplifies the vibrations from the strings. It's light but strong, which makes it great for carrying sound. Piano makers carefully choose spruce planks, glue them together and shape them just right. This makes sure every note sounds clear and rich. The rim of the piano is often made from mahogany, while the bridges use hard rock maple. Each type of wood brings something unique to the mix, working together to create the piano's special sound. Choosing the right wood is both a science and an art. Manufacturers think about things like how dense the wood is, how much moisture it has, and even where the tree grew. They might pick wood from trees that grew in colder places because these often have denser growth rings, which can make the piano sound better. Believe it or not, picking out the wood is the first step in making a piano that'll end up in a concert hall or someone's living room, and it happens years before the piano is built. It shows how much planning and patience goes into making pianos, but choosing the wood is just the start of this complicated process. Now that we've got our materials, let's see what happens next as we turn these carefully chosen pieces of wood into an amazing musical instrument. Let's dive into the world of piano manufacturing, where the magic happens. Did you know a single piano has more parts than many cars? It's like putting together a massive puzzle, and every piece matters for creating that amazing piano sound. Picture a busy factory floor, where each worker focuses on one specific job. This setup makes sure every part is made with care. From the tiniest springs to the huge cast iron plates, everything has to be spot on. If even one piece is off, the whole piano could sound wrong. Precision is super important in making pianos. Some parts need to be so exact, they're adjusted to within one hundredth of an inch. That's thinner than a hair. This level of accuracy is crucial for how the piano sounds. For example, if the bridge isn't placed just right, it can mess up how the strings vibrate, making the piano sound uneven across the keys. Let's talk about the strings. They're made of carbon steel wire, and for the lower notes, they're wrapped in copper. This gives those deep notes their rich, full sound. The action mechanism, the part that turns your key press into the hammer hitting the string, is pretty amazing. It's like a tiny world of levers, springs, and hammers all working together perfectly. Piano making mixes old-school craftsmanship with new technology. While a lot of the work is still done by skilled craftspeople, manufacturers are always trying out new ideas. Some are even using high-tech materials like carbon fiber in the piano actions to make them last longer and work better. Putting all these parts together is like conducting an orchestra. The piano's outer shell is made by carefully shaping and pressing layers of wood. This creates both the piano's beautiful look and its sturdy inner structure. The whole process is so complex that each piano ends up being its own unique work of art and engineering.
Let's peek inside the kiln. It's a climate-controlled space where temperature and humidity are carefully managed. The wood spends weeks in here, slowly drying and stabilizing. It's a delicate process. Piano makers aim for a moisture content of about 8-10% to in the wood. This level helps the wood handle the tension from strings and stay strong over time. Getting to this exact moisture level takes careful monitoring and adjusting throughout the drying process. Here's how it works. The kiln slowly dries the wood and gets rid of any pests or fungi. This careful treatment makes sure the wood is clean and ready for high-quality pianos. It also changes how the piano will sound. As the wood dries, its structure changes, making it better at resonating. This helps create the piano's rich, full tone. Interestingly, manufacturers often treat the wood differently based on where the piano will end up. They match the treatment to the climate of the piano's future home. Whether that's a humid tropical place or a dry desert, it's a balancing act. Too much heat or humidity can ruin the wood. That's why piano makers use advanced tech to keep a close eye on everything in the kiln. Some even use high-frequency energy to shape and cure the wood, making it even stronger and better for sound. All this careful work ensures every piece of wood is ready to make beautiful music. Now that the wood is perfectly treated, it's ready to become part of the piano. But there's still a lot of skilled work ahead to turn these prepared pieces into an amazing musical instrument. Let's see how that happens next. Here's a question. How do piano makers ensure every note sounds perfect? Creating the perfect piano sound is a mix of art and science, but getting consistency across 88 keys is a huge challenge. Let's dive into the world of piano sound engineering. The soundboard is the heart of the piano sound. It's not flat, but carefully shaped with a slight dome called crowning. This design amplifies sound, creating rich tones. Ribs glued underneath spread vibrations evenly, making sure every note rings out clearly. The crowning and ribs work together to spread sound energy, giving a balanced tone across the whole piano. Piano strings are made of strong, high-quality steel wire that sounds great. Lower note strings are wrapped in copper, which slows vibrations and creates deep bass tones. Higher strings aren't wrapped, so they vibrate faster and sound brighter. All these strings are under about 20 tons of tension, as heavy as a big truck. This tension is key to the piano's unique sound, making each note clear and long-lasting. Some piano makers are now using new materials like carbon fiber for certain parts. These modern materials last longer and perform more consistently than traditional wood and steel. Carbon fiber works especially well for moving parts, improving both durability and sound. This mix of old-school craftsmanship and new tech is pushing piano making forward. The felt on the hammers might seem small, but it's crucial for the piano sound. The thickness and quality of this felt shape the overall tone. Different felts create different sounds when hitting the strings. It's tricky to get right. Too soft and the sound is muffled. Too hard and it's too bright. Piano makers carefully choose and shape the felt to get the right sound for each part of the piano. So, how do they create that unique piano sound? It's all about combining the right materials and engineering, from the shaped soundboard to the tense strings, from the carefully picked hammer felts to the new materials. Everything works together to make that perfect piano sound we love. The result? An instrument that can play a huge range of notes, from deep, booming bass to sparkling highs, all sounding clear and strong. Let's take you through the final moments of our piano manufacturing journey. From the careful selection of wood in forests to the grand unveiling in concert halls, every piano tells a story of human ingenuity and craftsmanship. You'd be amazed at the intricate components working together inside each instrument. It's a testament to the dedication of piano makers, who, as one master craftsman said, take a lifetime to master its secrets. Next time you hear a piano's rich tones, remember the years of preparation, the precise engineering, and the artistry behind every note. The piano is a work of art that brings music to life. Understanding how these amazing instruments are made can deepen your appreciation for their sound. From raw wood to musical masterpiece, the piano's journey shows off human creativity and skill. Each note carries the echoes of forests, the precision of engineering, and the passion of craftsmen. When you listen to piano music, you're experiencing the result of centuries of innovation and artistry.